In 2017, Professor Prakash's lab at Stanford University published a paper detailing how to produce a hand-powered centrifuge capable of achieving high RPMs relevant to actual applications while only costing cents to produce. To recreate the device, I went to a website called Thingiverse, which is a repository for 3D designs, and found a model by David Eccles. Unlike the original design by Prakash's lab, Eccles' model was specifically designed to use Eppendorf tubes. I was then able to use a 3D printing service called Ninja Prototype to have the component pieces produced. After that, assembly is quite straightforward, and as you can see in the video as well, loading Eppendorf tubes is pretty simple as well. Next, I wanted to document actual operation of the device to help anyone else using this in the future. I also took some slow motion videos just for fun, but using the slow motion footage, I was also able to back calculate and find that the device was going about 3600 RPM. I'm not exactly sure why there's such a large difference between my device and the original paper. It could be caused by differences in the materials used in the device. It could be that I just wasn't running the device at its maximum speed. Whatever the case, I'll have to experiment with it more and see how it fares in actual real-world applications. There are a couple things I learned from operating the device. The first one is that it really helps to get the centrifuge started if you have the two handles twisted out of sync, as shown in the picture. The next thing is that the ropes used in the device can actually cause you a bit of a rope burn and blisters if you're not careful. The last thing is that actually getting the device started is much more challenging than you might think initially. It does get easier with practice, but it can definitely be frustrating too at times. But then again, it is also very satisfying when it finally works, and I definitely recommend anyone watching this to try it out for themselves.